what's up guys we are still updating you what is going on what is trending in nigeria greetings to you wherever you are so i have a quick update to share with you and then the, it is about the pdp crisis uh the national working committee faction in pdp guess what they have suspended the national chairman of or should i say the acting national chairman of the pdp that is uh damagun and also the secretary yes with everything that is going on you understand remember damagun is loyal to wiki that is the reason why up to now everyone pdp chieftain party chieftain uh calling on why uh wiki up to now uh is still working as a free man no sanction uh even when uh, everyone I've seen is anti-party activity. All right. We also what happened. Uh, Wiki is working under a uh, APC government. You remember what happened during the 2023 election. Wiki supported APC. Then according to Wiki, he have an excuse that he wanted a southern president. That was the reason why he supported a southern president. You understand? He didn't support Article. Abubakar, because power should not rotate back to the north. Okay, fine. Everyone has seen the reason. We get delivered APC in River State. I mean, APC have literally 80% uh, vote in River State in 2023. And then Wike was uh, made FCT minister under the administration of APC. All right, now let us assume that was an excuse you understand let us assume that was a good excuse now what happened in the those state is what people are talking about now wiki didn't support pdp now that is national election okay federal government election presidential election but what happened in the those state wiki didn't support pdp wiki didn't support obaseki he openly supported Adam Zoshumule and APC in a do state, which is long overdue for sanction. Dele Momodu, uh, Bode George, plenty of uh, PDP chieftain, the founding fathers themselves, you understand? They are complaining. Why is PDP keeping quiet? So until PDP sanction Wiki or they remove Wiki from PDP, the crisis will still continue. Now, guess what? The twist that is going on uh, in PDP uh, as of now is that the National Working Committee of PDP has extensively considered the series of complaints raised against the acting national chairman, Damagum, and national secretary, Senator Samuel Ayawu, particularly with regard to the letter addressed by them uh, to the Court of Appeal, you understand, against the party's position in the case involving the 27 former members of River State House of Assembly who vacated their seat upon the campaign from the PDP to the APC. You understand, they are now trying to link Wiki to everything that is going on. Though they are not openly telling Wiki, hey, come, we have to sanction you for anti-party activity. But think about it. Let us not pretend as if uh, we are dumb. Nobody is dumb here. Those people who vacated their seat, defected from PDP because of Simfubra, from PDP to APC, those assembly members where their seat was declared vacant. Of course, the matter is in court. I updated you guys the court judgment as that yesterday, so I'm not going into details of that. You understand? You, you cannot tell Nigerians or PDP members that those people, you know, voluntarily on their own defected if they didn't have any discussion from Wiki or with Wiki. I don't know if you guys understand. Those people did it on their own voluntarily defected from PDP to APC because Wiki is their guy. They are loyal to Wiki. They wouldn't have done that. Even when this crisis, Wiki and Fubra crisis started, most of the commissioners resigned because uh, Fubra was no longer comfortable 
literally the local government chairman they are loyal to wiki uh, the assembly members loyal to wiki almost all the commissioners it is wiki that you know put them there then tell me how will fubra function so literally wiki wanted to also control fubra but fubra resisted that is how the crisis started you understand so now the national working committee is trying to link what happened in river state how come assembly member 27 of them defected from pdp to apc how come so the national working committee condemned the anti-party activity of that uh, national chairman and the secretary that it is in gross violation of the provisions of pdp constitution as amended in 2017 and they are out of office all right so consequently the national working committee passed one to uh, section 57 58 and 59 of the pdp constitution has finally suspended damagum and senator samuel Anyawu as acting national chairman and national secretary of the party respectively and referred them to the national disciplinary committee for further action so in the meantime the two officials are suspended from all meetings activities and programs of the national working committee pending the conclusion of an investigation by the national disciplinary committee all right so that is the latest update so from there they are trying to use that to get the weekend that is what I am looking at. That is uh, the area I'm looking at. But guess what? These are the people that benefit a lot from the judiciary. Before you know it, they will run to the court. And the court and our judiciary is making things difficult. The judiciary is really, really making things difficult in Nigeria. Now, with this suspension, the next thing you will hear, don't worry, I am here to update you guys. With this suspension, the next thing you will hear is that they have gone to court. The court has given them a stay of execution, whether a stay of, uh, uh, how do they even call it? You understand? How do they call it? Uh, stay of one thing, one thing, kiniko. Everybody should remain, okay, status quo. Everybody should remain status quo until the issue has been determined, all those things. Remember what happened in the, the case of Julius Aburi and uh, Peter Obi, where the court now take Julius Aburi back as the national chairman of the Labour Party. Where the party already said your tenure has expired. I need confirm your tenure has expired. But he ran to court, get a court judgment, that returned him back as the national chairman. And Peter Obi here, they will now go back to court to appeal it. The same thing that happened in River State, the court had given uh, a judgment. The court has given judgment that Fubra should recognize those 27 assembly members, resubmit budget in their prison. And Fubra here said, okay, he has instructed his legal advisors, legal team to take, you understand, to appeal that judgment. Now you can see judiciary is giving court order and counter court order, all those things, which is not supposed to be so. So now I believe with this, they are trying to get to Wiki gradually, gradually, because Damagum was, Damagum is a lawyer, is a loyal national chairman to Wiki. And don't forget, PDP have their own faction. Atiku have their, uh, his own faction. People that are loyal to Atiku in PDP is there, and people that are loyal to a week in PDP, they are there. So PDP have two different factions, Atiku faction and Wiki faction. Who is, um, how do they call it? The uh, person in charge of the party, all right? Who is in charge of the party? So people say since Atiku was the presidential candidate, he's the party leader. Some people is loyal to Atiku as party leader, while some people are loyal to Wiki as party leader. So those are the two different factions. So I believe with this, uh, removing the Damagum as the national chairman of uh, PDP, they will eventually get to Wiki. That is my own point of view. But however, let me know what you guys think. See you in another update.